The 7000 series oscilloscope provides advanced search and navigation capabilities that make it possible to utilize the full power of the deep memory in a number of ways, depending on what kind of signal artifacts you're searching for. Search takes advantage of the full digital triggering system to mark multiple trigger events within a single capture. Use the mark table to easily move between events and investigate their root cause. You can also reconfigure the memory using record mode. By capturing short bursts of time, you can record more than 450,000 events and play them back like a movie or fast forward to events of interest. For infrequent events, the instrument can store days or weeks of data in this mode. Lastly, Zoom interacts with both of these methods, but also allows you the simplest way to capture a single set of data and then zoom in on artifacts and signals of interest within the long capture. Search and navigation is one of the most important capabilities of the 7000 series oscilloscope. It's a critical tool for investigating signal anomalies. It allows you to capture triggered events and look at them in the context of a broader signal. Let's see how it works. Here we have a 1 MHz signal that occasionally has a little dropout on it. You can see it moving across the screen. We really want to learn today how often that's occurring. So let's move out to one millisecond per division. There's a lot of data, a lot of waveforms on that display. Now let's activate the search mode. Now we've captured a search pattern. We've really searched for, we look at our menu, we search for a pulse setting. So that pulse is set up to look for pulses that are shorter than 200 nanoseconds. So we're going to look for those little glitch pulses. As we see, we've captured one each division here. So they're happening at a one millisecond clip. We can use the navigation to move through to each one individually. When we find one we want to look deeper at, we can then go ahead and zoom in on that individually. And now we can see the individual glitch and how it happens and what it looks like in context of the larger signal. This is a great way to see that, hey, this glitch happens once every millisecond on a regular pattern. And now we can investigate further, find root cause, and solve our problem. So that's search and mark, or the search and navigation technique we can use on the new 7000 series oscilloscope. Record mode is one of the important search and navigation tools on the 7000 series oscilloscope. Here we'll use record mode to capture segments or thousands of frames of data that we can then play back and analyze in different ways. Let's see how that works. So first we have our signal here. We see that it's a one megahertz signal with an occasional dropout on it. We've seen that before. Let's go ahead and look deeper. So, you know, the first thing we can do is really zoom in on that signal. To, now we can really clearly see the dropout is occasional. By the, by the color, we can tell that the, uh, most of the time the signal goes high, but once in a while it drops out. But we really want to see how that works together um, and what the timing and the nature of that signal are. So one thing we can do here is really isolate that signal. And let's do that with the zone trigger. So now we're capturing only triggers that are, that are happening um, when, after that edge, it drops down immediately. So that gives us um, just those failures. We can separate them. And now we can go into the record mode and use this tool to really capture thousands of these. So actually, I'll set it up to the max, record thousands of these at a time. So you can see it's capturing them as we go through. And it can actually store up to 450,000, a little more than 450,000 frames like this. So you can capture looking for failures over you know, hours, days, uh, longer periods, depending upon the nature of the error you see and how you want to correlate it with other data. So we feel like we have enough of those. There, I've captured about 20,000. Now we can go back and we can use our nav keys to kind of play through that, look at those individually like a movie, correlate them with other signals we've seen, or we can just you know, go frame by frame, look at each individual signal and why that is. So, you know, we, we had other embedded signals on here. We could look for causation and correlation with other signals and really get a great idea of how this signal, this dropout, is occurring in time and why it's occurring. So what's important there is really the ability to segment that data or look at this in frames of, of thousands of triggered events. Instead of one long continuous frame, we can look at, you know, over 400,000 uh, segmented events and be able to play them back and correlate them that way.